Hi, I'm George Self. This video is one in a series designed to help with Logisem Evolution Digital Logic Labs. This is lab number four, Arithmetic Logic Unit, ALU. The purpose of this lab is to create a device designed to handle all arithmetic and logic functions needed in a circuit. This is a very important device and forms the core of a computer's central processing unit, the CPU. Let's take a look at the completed circuit. An ALU typically has two inputs. In this case, they'll be four-bit inputs. There's a selector and a mode switch. Now, there's also a carry-in bit and a carry-out bit. The outputs are a comparator that goes high when the two inputs are the same. And then the, the result of whatever function has been set. So for example, mode zero when it's low we're doing arithmetic functions and the arithmetic codes whenever there's a zero on the selector then the output is always tied to just negative one and you'll see the alu out here shows negative one this is using a two's complement mathematics when the input uh, is one when the selector is one then we output the value of a minus one. Oh, let's try that out. If I put in a four on the a, and then I select one, then the output is three. So the arithmetic functions are working. I can change over to the logic functions by putting a high in on the mode. So let me switch this to a high. When it's a high, then we see that Oh, let me reset this a little bit. When it's high, mode zero is A and B. So with mode with the selector at zero, if I put in a one and one, then the output is A and B. That will be a two or a zero, zero, one, zero. Now the carry in bit is used to daisy chain this ALU to another one so you can get an 8-bit ALU or a 16-bit or however many you want to chain together. Now I'll switch to the starter circuit for this lab which contains a main circuit and three sub circuits. The arithmetic circuit contains all of the logic for the arithmetic functions. The logic circuit contains all of the logic for those functions, and the ALU circuit combines the other two sub-circuits into a single unit. Well, let's get started. I'm going to look first at the arithmetic sub-circuit. Now your starter circuit provides a complete arithmetic sub-circuit. You don't need to do anything for this one. You'll notice there are two inputs, input A and input B. They're both four-bit inputs. And you'll notice that these inputs are tied to a number of the various devices in this sub-circuit. Now, those devices are all found here in the arithmetic library. I've got an adder here. I've got a subtractor here and so forth. you'll notice that all of these various devices are fed into two different multiplexers. Now, all the way back in lab one, I mentioned to you that multiplexers were one of the workhorses for all digital logic circuits. And here you can see two multiplexers being used in this one circuit. The select bit, which is selected from the uh, main page, the SELECT bit determines which of these functions is actually transmitted to the output. And there is an arithmetic out, and there's also a carry out bit. Sometimes the carry out uh, is needed and sometimes it is not. One of the secrets for this entire sub-circuit is simply the wiring. It's important to know which of these devices need to be wired to which multiplexer and which, which of the carry-in bits need to be wired 
to the carry out multiplexer. Again, you can play around with this particular circuit. You can try to figure out exactly what everything is doing because then you'll go to the logic circuit. The logic circuit has nothing available for you except the inputs and the outputs. So it will be up to you to create a logic circuit that will frankly look similar to this arithmetic circuit. There will be a bunch of devices here in the middle. They'll all be wired up with a multiplexer output. But that will be up to you to work out. Finally, the ALU circuit simply combines the arithmetic subcircuit, the logic subcircuit, with another multiplexer. This one is connected to the mode input. So the mode will determine whether it's the arithmetic signal that gets passed to the output or whether it's the logic signal that gets passed to the output. And then you will put this subcircuit into main where it can be used uh, by a human. That's it for this lab. I think you'll find it's very challenging. As in all of the labs, please do not get too hung up and, and get frustrated. There's always help available and I'm willing to work with you. I'll be seeing you online.